Hello friends, in this video we will see how to construct the DFA which accepts the substring uh, triple 1 over the input symbol uh, <coughs> over the input symbol uh, 0 comma 1 So first of all uh, I will write the string generated uh, from this combination uh, means uh, <coughs> I will generate the string which will contain the substring uh, 1 1 1 and then we will uh, construct the DFA for the same so uh, first of all I will write all the possible value uh, which contains substring triple 1 so first string will be 1 1 1 then uh, string can start with 0 and 1 and string can end with 0 and 1 but it should contain substring uh, 1 1 triple 1 so I will start with 0 triple 1 then 1 triple 1 then 1 0 triple 1 then 1 0 1 0 1 triple 1 0 then 0 0 0 1 1 1 then 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 and so on so these are the some possible values and using these values we can construct uh, the DFA which accept the substring triple 1 so uh, I will tell you uh, one uh, idea here that uh, what will be the total number of states in the DFA so total number of states will be length of the substring plus 1 so here length of the substring is uh, 3 so total number of states will be 4 so first of all I will uh, draw the 4 states here 1 2 3 4 and I will name the states this is q0 q1 q2 q3 uh, so then I will take uh, the states one by one so first string one by one so first is 1 1 1 so uh, the DFA will be 1, 1, 1 and Q3 will be the final state here. Right? As of now Q3 is final state, it may get change. Then uh, I will take next possibility as 0, triple 1. So I can write here 0, triple 1, then double 0, triple 1. These are the possible combination triple 0, triple 1. So there can be any number of 0. If you apply cycle of 0 on Q0, it will satisfy this condition. So apply the cycle of 0, it will accept 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. Okay. Uh, so this condition is satisfied. Now next is uh, 4 times 1, 5 times 1, 6 times 1 and so on. So uh, it all these are containing triple 1 as substring. So 1, 1, 1 and then it will accept any number of 1. So all the conditions are satisfied. Then the string can be triple 1, 0, triple 1, uh, triple 1, double 0, then triple 1, triple 0. So what should do? Um, we should do in this case. So uh, 1, 1, 1 and it will accept any number of 0. So I will apply a cycle of 0 here. So all the conditions are satisfied then <coughs> next condition I will take is 1 0 triple 1 then 1 double 0 triple 1 1 triple 0 triple 1 so how to write, do it so is it should end with triple 1 means it will contain substring triple 1 so it will be 1 then I will again come back here 0 so that it will accept any number of 0 so 1 0 1 1 1 so 1 0 1 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 1 1 1 so it is accepting uh, <coughs> these uh, strings then next uh, I will take combination 1 uh, 1 0 triple 1 1 1 double 0 triple 1 then 1 uh, I can write 1 1 uh, 3 times 0 triple 1 so what should we do in this case so 1 1 then uh, it should uh, contain the triple one as substring so that's why we have to again come back to q0 so i have uh, i took one uh, arrow which is coming to q0 and it will be zero now it will accept one one zero one 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 so when string is accepted when you reach to final set the string is accepted then uh, one one zero zero one 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 then one one 0 0 0 1 1 1 so <coughs> this is how uh, the st string is accepted 
then take let us take this string one zero one zero triple one zero so one zero one zero one 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 zero string is accepted then uh, this value zero one zero one triple one zero so zero one zero uh, one 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 uh, zero so all the values are accepted so now it is uh, satisfying all the string all the uh, it is accepting all the valid string so this will be the final uh, dfa which accept the substring triple one so i do hope you understand uh, this problem uh, so if you like this video please subscribe like and share thank you